hello 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 babes welcome back to the channel if you are new welcome 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 so in today's video as you have read by the title we will be talking about none other than miss blair waldorf and how much of a toxic problematic pick me she was so let's get into it now before i start this video off i just want to say i love leighton meester i think after gossip girl i think she should have been casted to play many roles amongst major movies and major shows however when you are a child actress although not a child at the time they tend to stick you in one box now this is about the character she played not Leighton herself because some people can't differentiate the two and get on the defense anytime you speak about their favorite tv characters especially fan favorites and don't get me wrong i love blair's character and she carried the show however she was beyond problematic a pick me elitist who had misogynistic views so blair waldorf is a new york city socialite she's beautiful rich and has access to things most teens her age don't blair is intelligent goal driven and well dressed of course while Blair may seem to have it all, she is insecure, shallow, and hates other women. Blair is a fan favorite and deservedly so because she is iconic. However, a lot of her ways are swept under the rug, specifically her snooty, holier-than-thou, elitist, classist attitude. And while she may be good for a TV show, no one would want to be friends with someone like her in real life. So let's get into the toxic character that is Miss Blair Waldorf. On multiple occasions, Blair goes out of her way to ruin the lives around people around her who don't bow down to her or when she isn't able to get her way. Now there's being a teenager and making childish mistakes, then there's flat out evil, conniving and vindictive ways and honey, age has nothing to do with that. When you're a teen, you know right from wrong. And excusing someone's behavior because of age is an issue within itself. A lot of people have lack of accountability and are always bringing up age. Now, unless you're a toddler, you know better and all of the, but she's just a teen and she was a teen people are the people who enable bad behavior and create monsters for adults that the rest of the world has to deal with. First, let's start off with the mental and emotional abuse that she put Jenny through. While some may not like Jenny because of many reasons, let's look at the way she treated her. She knew Jenny looked up to her and that she would never let Jenny into her world but wanted to give the illusion that she would. She got off, off of the fact that Jenny sang her praises. She thought that Jenny didn't deserve anything because of her financial and economic status. And if there is one thing I cannot stand and have always stood up for is people who were victims of bullies and they cause so much trauma in a person's life and they move on while the victim holds on to that burden of having to get over it and the scars it leaves on them. The bully always bullies and when the victim retaliates, everyone shames and blames them. But when the victim was getting bullied, no one saw. Which is why I don't get why Blair is such a celebrated character. Knowing how much people like her affect people even in their later years, Blair is not a nice person, point blank and the period. If the only way you're nice to someone is if they're doing something for you or come from the same economic background as you, then you are not a nice person, my dear. Blair caused Jenny so much trauma that she became a completely different person. Not only at the hands of Blair herself, but also her minions. Spreading disgusting rumors about her, banning her from New York City because her boyfriend, who was a willing participant, slept with her. And she only did this because she knew that she didn't have the power to banish Chuck from New York and because she was a pick me. She did all of that to go back to Chuck, but still had this disdain for Jenny when she got what she deserved from her and deserved more if you ask me. Blair made it her business to ruin Jenny's life. And I don't care about the few times she was nice to her, the bad outweighed the good. When Jenny told her Nate was in love with Serena, she got upset with Jenny. Again, pick me behavior. You jealous? Of you and Nate? Do you like him? Oh, no. You think because you talked to him once in the hall that you might have a shot? Blair, it's nothing like that. Then tell me, what is it like? Yesterday wasn't the first time he talked to me. At the ball, he told me he wasn't over Serena. Why would he tell you that? Because I was wearing her mask. And he thought I was her. <laughs> he kissed me. That's enough. Blair, I, I do 
didn't want you to find out. You're dismissed, Jenny. For good. Being mad with the woman or someone who tells you about your man rather than the man. She was always forgiven to a man and was highly insecure when it came to women, even if they had less than her. She pressured Jenny into drinking in order to get into her circle, which is disgusting in itself. And right here is where I draw the line. You're mean, okay. But the way she guilts Jenny into drinking because she knows she wants her approval is downright predatory behavior and outright treacherous. And just to go back to the bullying really quick, the bully who is Blair gets the love and adoration while the victim, who is Jenny, gives the bully a taste of their own medicine is now somehow the villain, which is such a true depiction of real life. The disgusting individual somehow becomes the victim and everyone feels sorry for them. While now that the bully has retaliated after constant abuse is somehow the worst person in the world? I definitely believe a lot of these writers are real life bullies, which is why they turn Jenny into the villain, just like the principals, teachers, and school staff were bullies in their youth and still are, and it's why they brush off bullying and don't care about what happens. But back to Blair. Now let's get into her misogynistic views and ways. Blair's devotion and obsession to any man leads her to view women sometimes in the same way a misogynistic man would view a woman. She victim blames, calls women slut whores to prop herself up on a pedestal and make herself feel better about herself. She's like the men who are insecure because they can't date or be with a certain woman and resorts to calling them names. Anytime a man does something, she is on the side of the man. And granted, women aren't always right. But with Blair, she is almost always on the side of the one who has done wrong and makes excuses for them. Well, unless they come from lower or middle class, then she could really care less. But how she constantly calls Serena a slut while she did the same thing Serena did but in reverse and somehow believes she is above her is beyond me. The only prostitute here is you. Girl, did you not pop your legs open like a jack-in-the-box for Chuck? And although in later seasons he apologizes to Jenny, it doesn't make up for the fact that he attempted to sexually assault her and the fact that he sold Blair for his hotel, well, to get his hotel back. He was trash during this time and this is the person you gave your V to? And the cherry on top, him being Nate's best friend. What made you any different, Love Muffin? And to take it a step further, later on you go and date someone and probably the only one Serena truly loved, the same man you claimed was beneath Serena and how much better she could do. The same man you turned your nose up at anytime you got the chance. Also, just came in to say this, that I don't know in what world it's okay to trade off ex-boyfriends with your best friends like Pokemon cards, but it's disgusting to me. And, and there are so many people in this world. Why do you have to date friend's ex-boyfriend or someone your friend likes or is interested in? It's weird to me and I don't like how it's glamorized in certain TV shows and movies. That's all. Back to the video. You were ecstatic. When he and Serena broke up. And this is why I tell women to beware of the woman who is constantly discussing your relationship or has something negative to say unless it's warranted and the person you're with treats you horribly. Because that same girl wants what you have and is secretly envious of it. While Chuck and Blair do date, it took a while for Chuck to become serious. And yes, she had the material items, but she didn't have what she wanted, which was true love and someone to love and care about her at the time. She was constantly pining for the attention of men and competing with women, willing to forgive Nate so quickly when both of them betrayed her and demanding he not speak to Serena as if that will stop something. <laughs> okay, girl. I've reacted. You say it's in the past? in the past. I'm sure you have no feelings for her anymore. She didn't even want people knowing what Serena did, but still holding a grudge because of her immense insecurity and jealousy, she brought it up any time she had the chance, which let me know that she never really forgave Serena and I didn't understand why she remained friends with her, but moving along. This girl sided with Chuck when he attempted to essay Jenny. What good person does this? and came up with a plan to take Serena down, like completely ignoring what Chuck did. I could go on for days about her misogynistic ways, but honey, 
I'd be here for a very, very long time. You know, I always knew you're a whore. I never took you for a lie or two. Too bad you missed the assembly. Not that it matters. Brown doesn't offer to grace the slut. Her jealousy caused her to do the most irrational dark things like ruining her own mother's fashion show because Serena was asked to walk in it after you purposely got rid of the models. So she decides to sabotage not only her mother's fashion show but puts Jenny's internship on the line. All because she's so bitter and envious with one of the most spiteful spirits I've ever seen on a TV show. Her obsession with Serena was unhinged when she wasn't speaking to her, she obsessed over her, and when she was speaking to her, she obsessed over her. She made it her mission to destroy anything involving Serena when they weren't speaking. If you have to dim your light for a friend or a family member, then that relationship needs to be discarded. If you thought Serena was such a bad person, why not just cut ties completely and be done? But no, she wanted to make her life a living hell anytime they weren't friends. She called herself trying to out Serena when she believed she was going to rehab while instead she hurt her brother. I'm sorry, but Blair needed a good old fashioned ass beating. <laughs> and I don't understand the hate people had for Serena. Granted, sometimes she was oblivious, annoying, and self-centered. However, she didn't look down on people or pressure people into drinking, bullying, or plotting every chance she got to take someone down. And I think the reason a lot of people don't like her is because she is the girl who didn't have to try hard for people to like her and was naturally likable, unlike the Blairs of the world who snaked their way into everything. And yes, they may work hard, but they work even harder to cross people and make their way up to the top by any means necessary and cutting anyone and backstabbing anyone by any means necessary. And also something that is so tired with these fans is the, but she worked really hard. She worked hard. She came from money. She's She came from a wealthy family. How hard did she actually really have to work? It wasn't like she had to start all the way from the bottom. She had people making calls in order for her to get into schools. Your regular average person didn't have that. She had access to a lot of things that your average person didn't have access to. So please miss me with the whole, she worked hard to get to where she did. Where? What hard work? Yes, she worked hard and she made good grades and she did well in school. But stop acting as though she didn't have access to things that other people didn't have access to and like she wasn't a nepotism baby like the rest of your favorite celebrities or some celebrities that you guys like to say they're a nepotism baby they got things handed to them blair is no different honey and while yes it is just a show the fact still remains that she was a nepo baby just like the people you guys complain about today and say that they got things because their parents were actors and actresses as though they didn't work hard to get to that point however those doors were still opened for them unlike your regular average person who has to work 10 times harder in order to even get to the table or get a foot in the door for an audition and that is it for this video. I do plan on doing a part two because I know there are going to be a few things that I forgot about when doing this video. And I do want to go into specific episodes. Maybe I'll do episode breakdowns of Blair and maybe the rest of the cast. But for today, that will be all. Don't forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe. Liking helps the algorithm and helps to push my videos to other viewers and for other people to come on and join us over here. So make sure you're liking the video so that other people can see my videos and I will catch you guys on the next video. Toodles!